Hey y'all. So we're back. Hi. I'm and Shadow. I'm Piper. Welcome back to Deathmark. The good ending? Yep. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. So right now we are at the um, cusp of our interaction with Mary before she is put down to say. Um, <laughs> down, dug it down. <laughs> so I'm going to fast forward through some of this dialogue and stuff that we can get to, you know, the good stuff. Get to all that. And yes, there is the option to fast forward in this game, just so you know. I'm almost back at Kyujo Mansion. As my drive comes to an end, I focus on what the most important detail is. That's right, who she is. Should I even do this, or should I just wait until it? I don't know. I'm just waiting until I see Mary. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just, just in case she says anything different. Keep on going. Like, oh, you didn't kill anyone. Let's go around or some shit. Yeah. Because we, we already have a clear save file. Yep, yep, yep. So maybe she says something different. Maybe she sent she into the game files. I don't know. We're going to find out. We are going to find out. <laughs> or maybe she'll be like, oh, nobody died. You know, that type of thing. There she is. Hey, bitch. We're back. <laughs> All right, so remember that. This is going to be that one. And yep, and the mansion is no longer safe. And now we talk. Well, it's never really been safe. See if it's the same or not here. You there, hon? Okay, there we go. Hi, bitch. So we meet again. Mary's voice is soft. I know now. Behind those words is hidden an intense lust for blood. Girl, you need to chop your hair. Good guy. <laughs> you came back to life rather quickly. You gave me nearly a whole day. More than enough time. I admit that rabbit's attack surprised me. But unexpected events can themselves be rather enjoyable. When I had brought Mary to H Shrine, we caught sight of the rabbit there. It might have suspected Mary's true nature. That rabbit, its great love for you pushed it into recklessness. What was that rabbit really? Determine that for yourself. Who are you? Know that, and the answer will come. Though it is impossible so long as you bear the mark I gave you. Mary gave me the mark. I had a hunch, but hearing it from her lips fills me with dread. Just what are you trying to accomplish? Dragging the living to the depths of despair before killing them. I believe I explained that it is a spirit's utmost desire and joy. And I had your cooperation with achieving that. Cooperate? That's ridiculous. Oh, have you not realized yet? You did bring those pathetic mark bearers directly to the spirits, did you not? But all of them survived. They feared the spirit's existence, trembled in the face of death. I savored the taste of that fear and despair most delicious. You may have, but they're still alive. You had all of us help out, just to terrify the mark bearers even more. Clearly. I could have waited for the curses to complete if I only waited, wanted them dead. Excuse me. Uh, that is not the only lie. Mark bearers may still, must still in small must stay in small groups. Good God. Do not contact outsiders. Uh, all my instructions were to drive you into a state of emergency, and not once did you doubt me. I would have. If I can fucking read. And arrange. I did. I bet she's telling you all of this because she wants me terrified with how hopeless a situation I find myself in is. I'm frozen in place, and I know my, fa my face must be as pale as death. She must be loving this. Don't tell me you created all those spirits just to accomplish that. Indeed. When Lady Christie believed divine wrath was the cause of the mark, I had never been more amused. Her foolishness was so delightful. I just had to come along with you. So you lied. Of course. How could a pile of broken statues possibly do anything? It could be my imagining it, but I feel like she hesitated for a moment there. I'm trying to read quickly so that we can get through this. Fifty years ago, it was sealed. I was sealed away by the head of the Kujo family. I woke up around five years ago, 
I am most unable to speak and communicate, but it seems my awakening alone caused a number of ripples. Those who died unfortunate deaths on cursed land became monstrous spirits. The H elementary abuse, the honeybee mass suicide, sacral assault and suicide, they all happened five years ago. I finally regained my full power a little over a month ago, when the Buddha statue connected to me 50 years ago began moving. The woman killed by the statue was also influenced by my power. That must be the canon soldier in Zukawa. Zukawa believed it was a divine oracle from the soldier when it really had been Mary. She did as the great Asura said and transformed herself into Miss Zu. Once my strength returned, I again bestowed my power on spirits. It connects humans to me and manipulates them into a panic. The mark. I know you've been toying with us, but, well, was there really a need to make us be connected to you in some way? Of course. By being in direct contact with you, I could taste your fear. Even now, are you scared of me, Lord Teria? Still no. Very admirable. Her eyes kind of drop into like that. Oh. If you if you notice when you say no, she kind of her eyes kind of drop like that. Yeah, her porcelain face cracks. Ever since you declared that you would fight the mark, I have waited eagerly for, eagerly for this day. Eagerly. Over the past ten days, I have tasted your fear through the mark, thick and syrupy as sweet as honey. Each savored morsel made me want to smash you to pieces, but I waited. I am not so foolish as to kill a goose that lays golden eggs. Uh, I cannot take it anymore, like crushing a ripe fruit and sipping its juices. I want to break you down and savor your sweet fear. You're slightly above. And would you look at that? I still don't give a shit. The game money, you're just saying. Just saying. And what? You're slightly above the game on you. Oh. No, no. Whew! Project. Pro project, friend. So three on three. The mark is dyed a deep crimson. Sunrise, a few minutes left until death closes in. Uh, my thoughts blur together suddenly. What happens to a mark bear right before dawn? I've seen it many times. Is that what's happening to me now? Lord Teria, wait for me. I'll kill... I can hear, yeah. I can hear Mary stand up over by the sofa. At this rate, the rabbit's fate will be mine too. I have to run away. And so we're going to run away because of check the... within the red in my room. Yep. Something whispers in my ear. That's right, that voice. But Say it. what does my room mean? Focus. Who does that voice belong to? Yazoka said it was someone who loved me. Live or die, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just a little rushy. I am completely immune to this now. Mary's coming closer. Where should I run? Because I want to show them the ending. Even though I don't know what happens. I really don't. I don't know what I happens. I don't either. I sprint at full speed up the stairs. I'm flying to say his room. <laughs> Much like the entrance hall, it's dark. The voice said, check within the red in my room. Is something there? But where should I look? The floor. The floor, the floor, the floor, the floor, the floor. Da, 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 da. Dun, dun. <laughs> Kujo's blood stain is still on the floor. It's obviously dry by this point in time. There might be something lying on top of it. I can make. I can't make. Be sure. Oh I can't be, be sure. sure if it's, it's too dark. dark. Thank you. Nothing was there the last time I was here. I was trying to say two different words at the same time. Picking it up, I discover that it's a small pouch. Inside is a hard, thin object. I move over to the moonlight to see it better. That da. -da. It's a small Buddha statue. That Mary defiled. It can't be. Is this the Nenji Butsu? It seems to be stained with blood and I get an ominous feeling from it. The impurity, it hasn't been ex exercised yet. I instinctively know the instant I see it. My mind is suddenly flooded with all of my <laughs> memories of the Nenjibutsu one after another. Fifty years ago, the head of the Kyujo family used this to, to steal. steal 
Mary's power? He put the ninjutsu inside her to seal her. There we go. Then about a month ago, someone took it out. That person was me. Because if he hadn't, then it would have been a worst case scenario. Because of that, Mary regained her powers. Uh -huh. The ninjutsu in my hand looks exactly as it did back then, full of impurity. Impurity that's built up from sealing Mary's power for 50 years. She's gonna be like a demon or something. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. To cleanse it, I left the ninjutsu at the uncontaminated H shrine. It would take time to exercise all of the impurity. It's already July, the summer purification rite is over. So why is it still impure? The object the rabbit had in its mouth. It could have been carrying the pouch when, then instead of the master key. The ninjutsu was taken away from the shrine before the beginning of July. Maybe the rabbit saw Mary by the shrine and was scared that she would find it. So it had no choice but to steal it away. The door to the adjacent room opens. Mary must be looking for me. But she can sense the presence of mark bearers. What's going on? Wait, is it possible that Seiya's blood is protecting me? Because like before with Hanahiko... Bring it to where I meet my end, or met my end. Yeah, she didn't fully die when she died. Yeah. The voice whispers in my ear again. If this isn't where the voice's owner died, they must have met their end somewhere else. There's only one other place. While Mary is in the room next door, I sprint down to the entrance hall. I make a beeline to Mary's sofa and the spot where the rabbit died. The voice that spoke to me and helped me every time a spirit was closing in. If Saya was working through anything, it must have been that rabbit. Sensing something, I looked down at my hand. The ninjutsu's impurity is gone. Is this what you've been telling me, Saya? I speak to the departed woman who's guided me as I struggled without memories. Put the ninjutsu... The source of the doll's curse. Press it to the black mark. Then the whispers stop. Come here, bitch. Yep, we're <laughs> waiting. The floorboards creak ominously. Hello. I raise my head to the staircase, r rising into the darkness before me. Is... Pop goes the weasel. There, there she, she is. is. She just pops into existence. Yep. A dark figure stands on the landing. So much for not being able to walk. I found you! I mean, it's really not that hard to find. No, not at all. You're just stupid, apparently, at certain points. Which is weird. The mark scorches me. My head goes blank. Pretty sure that's hell. Yep. <laughs> Hello. Mary's coming closer. My body won't listen to me. I'm just gonna check that. You know what's weird? She can fully walk on her own, but she needed to be carried earlier. It's because she was fibbing. That's a that's an awful way to fib when you think about it. Honestly. Oh, Lord Teruya. I don't know why you're calling him Lord at this point. Mary closes her hands around my neck. She's trying to kill me. Whoop de doo Oh, you were just so bad. <laughs> the heck, man? I mean, the blood is still gross. I squeeze the ninjutsu and the fog that's impending my thoughts lifts. I mean, it is blood. Yeah, I wonder where it came from. Her eyeballs? Yeah, that's true. It's still a struggle to think. I, I should be able to move my arm now. Put the ninjutsu on the source of the curse. I only have one chance. Where should I put? stick the ninjutsu? On her right arm. Yep, kind of near the top, but not really, kind of in the middle. Yeah, it's like mid forearm, not forearm, but uh, upper arm. I managed to drag my impossibly heavy arm and stick the ninjutsu on Mary's right arm. She's hiding it. But I'm sure that's where the black mark was. It's like a right above her elbow. God, you are gross looking. Aren't they all? For her yeah. more so, because she's actually a demon. Yeah. 
Nah. I'm not yelling. I don't have sound paneling. No. I'm working on it. It's just, it's not happening yet. Marks bloom on Mary one after another. They're all the color of blood. It's like they're the curse of those she killed. There's that. See you later. Bye bye. Well, there's that. Survived! At least we can find out what happened to Sukasa now. Yeah, that's true. See if he just went back to school and continued to be a prick. Everybody else we already knew about, but he was the one we didn't know about. Yeah. Mary shatters into dust. Did I really do it? I hesitantly looked down at my right arm. Eh, technically no. Ta-da! She's clean. The mark is gone. Well, she's not really dead, though. No. She's not dead dead. I did it. I finally did it. I have to say it out loud to convince myself. A victory at the expense of Saya's life. I can't claim it's completely over, but that's different from the other lines. Because before it mentioned... It mentioned the other others. person. Yeah. But now it's just Saya. Yep. There's no harm being relieved for now. Oh boy. So this is where it starts to get different. The fog clouding my head clears away. That's why I said you should probably wait until the encounter with yeah. with her. My memories slowly return to me. I look around the dimly lit hall again. I know this mansion well because I'm... The clock on the second floor begins chiming wildly like it den did ten days ago. It's like he planned it. it. Honestly. <laughs> When I make my way to it, it stops, almost as if it has a will of its own. That's right, this grandfather clock. I think a skilled ancestor of the Kujo family crafted it. That one chisel may have been used to make it. That's right, inside this clock. I open the door and stick my hand inside. My fingers brush something hard. Taking it out, I realize it's a voice recorder. I press the play button. The song, this is Masamune Kujo. It's a man's voice, a voice I know all too well. It's my voice. I decided to leave this record behind in case something should happen. That doll may dispose of any files or documents. I'm banking on her overlooking a piece of technology, which she did. As I listen, I start to remember recording this. I'd done it right before I received the mark from Mary. Now, where should I begin? It started five years ago, two years after I became Cujo family head. My sister Say and I found the doll in a wood box while sorting the warehouse. The moment I broke the seal and saw her, I could sense something sinister. But it took a while longer to fully understand what she truly is. If only there had been records. My great-grandfather who sealed her didn't leave any behind before his early death. Because of that, his descendants weren't told about the doll. Conveniently. I managed to learn the doll had been loaned to an army lab during the war. A strange old man who lived in an underground shelter told me. Then I went overseas to try and get more information on the doll. But I got into an accident while away and was presumed missing. So Saya became the new family head. I wasn't about I wasn't able to contact her until after she inherited the role. It wasn't something worth contesting. So I explained everything and had her keep up the facade that I was missing. Public records still stated Masamune Kujo was very much alive, of course. I couldn't have used my passport or license otherwise. I'm off topic. Sorry. I only just returned to the country last week. Other psychics abroad all agreed it would be bad to leave the doll be. 
and Ninjit and Ninjibutsu. There you go. Inside the doll, still su suppressed its cursed power, but I realized that it was almost at its limit. If I left it alone, it would crumble. And then it'd be impossible to suppress the cursed power of the doll. That was the worst case scenario. But what was to be done? The answer I came up with was to remove the ninjutsu. Ninji butsu. Nen I'm working on it. I'm, I'm going through something here. <laughs> From the doll temporarily. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to pronounce it, but just I don't know. Does not happen. It's just the way the letters are. Okay. I'm trying. I'm reading it, and I want to pronounce it that way, but it just it do it don't work. My brain don't do. Its impurity would be cleansed after a month stored in a pure area. Then I'll place it back in the doll. If I succeeded, the doll's power would be sealed for a few more decades. But the problem is that one month. I have no idea what kind of curse will be released when this doll's unsealed. I'll do what I can to prevent disasters. But my power can't compare to the Nenji Bitsu. I can't guarantee anything. There may be victims again, like the tragedy 50 years ago. But this is a necessary evil. It must be done in order to prevent even more people from falling victim. After this, I'll disassemble the doll and remove the nen Nenji Bitsu. I pray everything goes according to plan and the worst of evils is avoided. I hope this record isn't needed. But... If the one listening to this has a loved one who's fallen victim to the curse, then I'm very sorry. At least you tried to apologize. The recording ends there. There's not a whole lot you can do with the demon, though. Damn it. I clenched my fists so hard my nails dig into my palms. Yes, the voice on the tape was mine, but I'm furious with it. I don't know that person at all. The mark has claimed so many victims over the past month. I even lost my little sister, Saya. Was she just another inevitable victim that the voice spoke of? I... Forgive yourself, man. It had to be done. I'm now Teruya, but I'm also Masamune Kujo. I understand why he felt as if he had to do that. It was his fate. The Kujo family are forever linked to that cursed doll. Sorry, my legs got cold. Two months have passed. The occasional cool breeze signals that summer is almost over. I've spent my time putting the case of the mark to rest as best as I can. I put Say to rest by burrowing the rabbit and contacted the surviving mark bearers. Excuse me. Here's Saya. Poor Saya. Putting the Buddha statues in places of honor was also one of those tasks. They weren't connected to the mark after all, but I couldn't just leave them there. Plus, there was no way Christy would keep quiet about the statues. So with her guidance and Yazoka, Damon, and Banshee's help, I carried the broken statues out of the shelter and returned them to H Shrine. By now, my memory has completely returned. Things didn't quite go as originally planned, but at least the danger has passed. I don't think my decision as Masamune Kujo was wrong, but at times waves, waves of powerlessness and de despondency overwhelm me. When I think of the victims of the Mark and of Seiya in particular, my chest hurts. I want to do something for them as the new head of the Kujo family. There's us. About the memories I regained, I became the Kujo family head seven years ago. I'll, I'll admit I was a bit of a recluse. I held, I left the public appearances to Saya, preferring to stay out of the spotlight. The only photos of me are from small local newspapers. I uncovered Mary by accident in the family's warehouse five years ago. It was a discovery that changed my life. I traveled extensively abroad in order to learn more about Mary. In one country, I got into an accident and fell into a coma for half a year. 
Even worse, that country proceeded to treat me as an unidentified traveler. I don't know if that was merely my terrible luck or if Mary's curse had something to do with it. When I was finally able to contact home, Seda had already become the new head. The rest was as the tape said. I had no idea that Mary's power was far greater than I had imagined. All of my efforts to suppress her power were completely useless. My memories unraveled faster than I thought. How did Mary come to be in the first place? One theory says a doll maker in the 19th century used magic to create her. Another says the spirit of a young girl who died prematurely took up residence in a doll. In the end, it's still a mystery. No one knows what happened to create a doll like that. We only know that each of Mary's owners died tragic deaths. Shortly after the turn of the 20th century, she, she came to be owned by the head of the Cujos. He either didn't know of the curse or simply didn't believe it. Disasters began befalling the family. Mary gained enough power to become sentient and produce spirits. Then the tragedy in the shelter happened. The seething grudges of the experiment's victims and the Buddha statues. They may have triggered her awakening. Whatever Mary's true identity is, the fact remains she altered many people's fates. Mine and the Mark Bearers included. Speaking of, an update on the surviving Mark Bearers. Mo Watanabe became a part-time writer for her favorite magazine, OOP Arts Monthly. And still looks dead inside. Yep. She sometimes <laughs> comes to Cujo Mansion to interview me about spirits and ghosts. There he is. Tsukasa Yoshida is studying every day for the middle school exams next year. He bragged in his letter to me about how well he did in the national mock tests. Oh, there you go. That's what happened to him. <laughs> He's still a brick. Still studying. Satoru Mashita bought me a drink like he promised. Seems like he's thinking about becoming a private detective. He actually asked me if I wanted to join him. Was he serious? I don't know for sure. Sho Nagishima is picking fights, riding his bike, and doing whatever he wants as usual. But recently, out of the blue, I heard he's joined his neighborhood's baseball team. Christy Arimura has started writing an essay exposing all of her past affairs. She's trying to get back into the industry. Suzu Morimiya was able to see her father. Lately, she started asking me for advice about how to get her parents to reconcile. I have no idea if I helped at all, but she says they sometimes have meals together now. Ida Nakamatsu has gone back to surfing BBS every day as usual. But what's new is he's been stopping by the city employment center. I guess he wants to be a steady to get a steady job and be a role model for, for Suzu. Uh, best of luck to him. A day doesn't go by that I don't see Ai Kaziwagi on TV as part of Love and Hero. She sent a ticket to me like she promised, but I need to drum up some courage to go to a concert for teens alone at my age. And not in a creepy way. Just the fact that you like to go to enjoy the music. <laughs> Tawako Yosoka is still working as a fortune teller in Ginza. Apparently she believes I have spiritual powers or something. She keeps sending customers with spirit problems to the mansion. I wish she'd stop. <laughs> Unauthorized. Oh God. Madoka Hiro spends her days working as a researcher while also visiting the shelter. She and her and Banshee squabble a lot, but I wish she'd stop complaining about to me about it. Excuse me. That's <laughs> fine. Then Shuji Daemon uh, seems to be doing better now, like a weight's been lifted off his chest. He's in the process of convincing officials to publicize the shelter and build a memorial for it. All good things. And lastly, Banshee Ito has returned to his beloved underground shelter. He stops by the mansion sometimes, filling the place with his scent. Of course, he comes to beg me for food. It's like that child you keep. Yep. <laughs> that only comes back for food. And now, here we go. Now then, that I should finished, be different. Yep, I finish my break and return to the workbench in the corner of the room. This is quite different. This is very different. Ooh. Over the past two months, Mary has managed to repair herself. Her power hasn't completely come back yet, but she's extremely, but she's still extremely frightening. Excuse me. 
the Nenjibutsu alone won't be enough to continue sealing our powers in the years to come. I must prepare extra uh, spiritual measures. It's taken a long time to get those ready, but today I've finally finished. Once everything is complete, I replace the Nenjibutsu inside Mary. Finally, it's over. I pick Mary up and put her in her wood box. Five years. This all started when I opened the lid of this box. Mary stares up at me from the depths of the box. I have no idea if she is aware of what's happening right now. But there's no doubt she'll regain her powers when the Nenjibutsu wears out decades from now. I'm determined to find a way to destroy this cursed doll before that happens. Until that day... Fuck you, Mary. You need to stay <laughs> asleep, Mary. I'd rather go with the fuck you aspect. I feel like that's more fun. And that's the end of the good ending. I kind of want to see what happens if you do name yourself Masamune Kujo Kodo? at the beginning. Like, if she'll say something or if she'll just brush it off. I do not know. What I do know is that um, this game definitely did have its problems, but I still enjoyed it. Um, it was good. It was. It's just, I wish for, like, some of the live or die situations, I wish for some of the more obtuse answers, there was at least a clue somewhere that wasn't in, like, a weird hidden spot. Yeah. Um, that you had to go back to that you didn't even realize you had to go back to because you thought you cleared the room. So, I feel like there should have been more clues pertaining to those situations in particular. Also, I think that it's weird that the cover for Deathmark showcases, um, oh my god, what is it? The Headless Bride? Is that it? Does it? Yeah, so... But that was the shortest chapter in this game. Which is comp It's very odd. I guess the developers just really liked making that episode, but... Like, for in the game, the, the game title screen, it's The Headless Bride. Oh, yeah, but on here it's all the yeah. the peeps. I wonder why they did that. It's I kind of know. a mystery and a mystery, I suppose. Switch cases in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyways. Um, I have an order. <laughs> do you want to do like a little peek see at what will happen if yeah, I'm you curious. put his name? Okay. We're not going to do the whole playthrough, but I definitely no, want to well, see no. if she like reacts. Or if she just sits there and stares at you. Oh my goodness. And now, a lot of time has passed. So... So is this the part where you, like, burned her, sir? I don't know. <laughs> At least he's not dead yet. The muted chirping of insects gently drifts along a breeze that enters the mansion. It's cool enough to sleep through the night again. It's nearly autumn, after all. So it's been a couple months. Mm -hmm. I stare out at the window at the unchanging scenery without really seeing it. Clouds in the distance rumble with thunder. As if on cue, a chill wind brushes up against the window pane. Rain again, huh? I comment because otherwise it feels like I'm in a dream. It's as if a stranger is speaking. I stare at the leaden sky. Even though I'm resting in a chair, I feel like I'm somewhere far away. When I shift, I see out of the corner of my eye the stack of books piled on the desk. Some were pretty difficult to get my hands on. But I don't feel like reading them anymore. I could read all of them and none will give me any type of clue. That's all I've learned after all this time wasted. The longer I try, the further away it gets. That thing sleeping in the wooden box. I head downstairs to make myself some coffee. There's a sudden knock at the door. The hollow sound doesn't bring back good memories. It used to signal the arrival of new mark bearers to the mansion. But 
That's in the past now. I swing the door open. Standing in front of me is... Hiya! Mo Watanabe. Is now a good time, mister? Oh, if it isn't, just tell me and I'll leave you alone. Yeah, it's fine. Mo flashes a carefree smile and steps inside with a pep in her step. Just her presence makes this place feel less gloomy. With a start, I realize that Mo isn't my only visitor. <sighs> it's been a while. So it's all of them. I'm sorry for coming without contacting you. Sukasa, this is rare. Why are you here? Um, it's been a while since we'd met up, so we talked about what happened. And obviously the topic came to you. So I told him that I visit you a lot and that he should come with me. No big deal, right? It's kind of inconvenient. I was just getting bored. I mean, he is by himself. I was just getting bored. Of course I don't mind. I was just getting bored. Yeah, I figured as much. You seem like the type with time on your hands. He you lives now. in a freaking mansion. <laughs> to be honest, all alone by himself. I haven't seen them both together since the mark. Most come by sometimes for interviews and the like for an occult magazine, but this is the first time I've seen Tsukasa Yoshida since then. I wasn't really concerned over him, but I'll admit I'm relieved to see he's alright. I'm glad to see you're well. Have you gotten the chance to relax? I have. But aren't you busy with entrance exams? Do you have time to be wasting doing this? Breaks are important. As an adult, you should understand that. Yeah, you're right. I glance over to see Mo staring at me. What is it? It's just, I'm working hard at my job too. You don't have anything to say. Oh, I know you are. It's only natural to work hard. Don't catch a cold. Whatever you want to do. Oh, I know you are. Trust me, I know you are. You've barreled your way in here several times already. That doesn't sound very encouraging. But no way am I a match for Tsukasa. He, he worked crazy hard. He was first in the recent mock tests. That's only natural. After all, I have a goal. You do? He has a goal. I've never heard him mention it. Or maybe I should say I, I've never expected him to say he has a goal. You have something you're trying to accomplish? My parents were lawyers, so I was thinking of entering the ju judicial profession, but... You're a kid! Was thinking. <laughs> uh -huh. Has he changed his mind since then? Well, that's a cool dream. <laughs> Jurisdiction. Or Jurassic. So you like dinosaurs, too. Oh, she she misread it. Sukasa's glare is full of contempt. Not Jurassic, ju judicial, as in working and dealing with the law. Are you really in high school, Mo? God, that face is scary. Ugh. I've never been at a loss for words before. To be honest, no, I'm not sure. If possible, I'd like to ask you for your opinion, Mister. Is that all right? I don't mind, but I'm kind of surprised. Who'd think Sukasa would ask me for advice? That incident I was wrapped up in started it. Now I know there are so many incomprehensible things in the world, I'm considering going into science in order to elucidate to them. But my parents, I feel that it would be difficult to tell them. I see. That's what's going on. It's a serious predicament. You don't seem like someone who has much in the way of work experience, but what do you think I should do? Tell them now, think it over first, reconsider. I would go ahead and tell them. Be like, hey, I, I want to do science. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to say. If he's given the idea serious thought, then, I'd be, then it'd be better for him to tell his parents. Parents only want their kids to be happy. They'll support him if that's what he wants. So that's what I tell him. I see. I hope my parents think the same way as you. Thank you very much. I feel a bit better now. I have no idea 
of my advice if my advice really was helpful or not but Tsukasa bows politely to me great you're good now right your future is bright unlike this old guy here so don't worry so much hey uh, that's so mean <laughs> he's not that old that's not true i'm sure he also has a bright they both look at me <laughs> eh, nope can't picture it <laughs> but that's what makes him approachable so he's good to vent to at oh least oh my god but there's definitely there are definitely things that only he can do Honestly, I can't think of any myself. I can make a good pot of coffee, but that's really not what they're talking about. I mean, there's that doll. Sukasa falls silent. It seems my expression gave me away. Have you not made much progress? Nothing I can share at the moment. I've researched everything I can. Mary's true identity is an, as elusive as smoke. I still haven't managed to find clues. So I'm taking a bit of a break right now. I'm glossing over it. But to be honest, any sort of tension has vanished. My rest hasn't relaxed me. It's more like I'm a balloon that's lost all its air. If I was risking my life and facing death every day, it might be different, but... Right now, my determination to move forward that I had back then is gone. That's so. I'm sorry, I had no idea. Then it might be best for you to rest and relax a bit. How about a t trip to improve your mood? You might get a good idea. I'm about to reply to that when... There's another knock at the door. Who this could is going to be a very long ending. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, who's is it? <laughs> Mo calls out playfully like she lives here and skips over to answer the door. Even though she doesn't. I'm coming in. The brusque voice belongs to Machida. <laughs> We're going in order. The ex detective Sotaru Machida. Hey, what's all of this? When did you start a daycare? <laughs> Huh? Mr. Machida, why are you here? You're such a prick. Did you come to see us? Most clearly excited, but Tsukasa is uh, collected as he bows politely. I'm in your debt for your help back then. Still, I'm surprised. I didn't think we'd be able to meet here. Machida gives an annoyed shake of his head. I'm the one asking why you're here. Damn, we're going in circles now. Don't lie, I know you're happy to see us. You're always hiding your feelings. God. I'm smoke for you. <laughs> oh, but what a huge coincidence. Oh my god. We've got everyone from the Hanihiko case back together again. This is totally destiny. Right? <laughs> I feel conflicted seeing her innocent smile. If everyone's happy after such a horrific event, then maybe it'll fade quickly to memory. <sighs> everyone, huh? In that case, one person, no, one being, is missing. As he mutters, he glances at the spot, at a spot in the room. It would be best to change the subject. So why are you here? I have something to ask you first. He answers me with a question, like usual. Turia, you told me that fortune teller, uh, about, you told that fortune teller about my office, didn't you? Oh my god. Yes. Does he mean Tawako Yasoka? Yeah, it might have come up while I was talking to her about Mary. <laughs> Why'd you go and do that? Now I'm drowning under investigation reports. I mean, he did want to be an investigator. Wait, does that mean... Are you a private eye, Mr. Mishita? Mo butts in, her eyes shining. She's not timid, I'll grant you that. Wow, I guess you'd be pretty good at that. Oh, if you get an interesting job, bring me along with you. <laughs> Even Machina can only blink at her innocence. <laughs> but, and this is exactly why it's annoying. You're welcome. Still, when I think about it, Machida's complaints don't make much sense. How could he be disadvantaged by my sharing his info with Yasoka, who's incredibly famous? He himself said that he was drowning under requests. I only told her about your office. What's wrong with that? Getting job requests is good, isn't it? 
What detective hates too many requests? Plus, he only just started. Even if he's insanely talented, there's no way he's already overwhelmed. It depends on what the request is about. The one I just got is the worst. Did he just hesitate? Mushida? It's your fault that this happened. So, Teruya. Yes? I'm going to have you help me. We just wanted to make a cup of coffee. Help you? Well, wait a minute, what are you talking about here? Can't you guess based on the context? I believe he's telling you he wants your help with a detective job. No shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wow, I really can't picture him working as a private eye, though. <laughs> now, if he were to investigate a supernatural phenomenon, that would be per- Oh, God. Oh, there it is. Wait. Wait, don't tell me. The music stopped. The worst request ever that you got. We all hold our breath as we stare at Mashita. Exactly. A spirit might be involved. It's a good opportunity. This is what I heard from the old fortune teller. Oh, for fuck's sake. Is this about Mary? This might be about the DLC. Yep. Was Wait. it added to the game? Might already be in here. No, this is totally for real, I swear. I think I saw something real bad on that Love Hotel street the other day. Oh my god, they added it to the base game! But what about Mary? She's locked away. You heard about the Red Riding Girl? A rumor about people disappearing after entering that love hotel in K-City. Asshole. Oh my god. On rainy days, this girl stands by the road like she's trying to get customers. Anyone who goes in the hotel with her ends up missing. And here's the kicker. Eventually they're found, but... Their heads are so messed up that they can't even remember their names. I don't know if this is Mashita talking or not, but I'm going to let you continue. Some end up dying in the hospital and others jump in front of trains. Well, this is like the synopsis. I totally forgot when I was walking around at night the last time it rained. And there was a girl in a red raincoat there, so I thought I'd chat her up. But when I got close to her... Tell me, are you... She suddenly started whispering to me. I got real creeped out, so I bolted. No, I'm seriously glad she didn't follow me. Thinking back on it, something was odd. It wasn't raining that hard, but she was the only one who was soaked from head to toe. Later, I realized the raincoat was probably soaked with blood. Hmm. But Mary's locked away. So is this still Mary? They added the DLC onto the main game! So I guess we have another episode. Oh my god. I think we do. That's all I was told. I'm sorry, but I must say that sounds like a simple ghost story. The rainy shopping district and the red raincoat? Rather suspicious. Mashita ignores Tsukasa looking straight at me instead. It's enough to make me concerned. I'll leave the rest to you, Teria. So yourself. You're, <laughs> you're with coming me. with me. Why me? <laughs> no, no. You're, you're coming, coming with me. me. I'm dogged down with my other cases. I don't have time to spare. Bullshit. <laughs> it's your fault that the old lady brought this to me. So you need to take responsibility. Oh, you dick. So in the end, we are going to be his partner. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But Piper. Oh Get control of yourself, woman. <laughs> Come on, you can help him out a little. I'll help too. The editorial department might have some info on a case like this. And your investigation needs an assistant, right? Did you learn nothing, Miss Moe? Isn't this what put you in danger last time? Last time. Those words draw my eyes immediately to a certain spot. She 
She's not here anymore. The same thing won't happen. It can't. I'm just waiting but for her to pop up and go, hey oh <laughs> Somewhere deep in my heart, I'm anxious. Aren't we all? Don't work yourself up. It's more likely that it's just a lie. A bunch of it sounds like it was made up. That's why it's such a pain to have an absurd request like this brought to me. Nishida's right. It's highly likely the whole story was made up. If I had to point out anything concerning about it, it's pretty detailed for just a rumor, and it leaves the same kind of impression as rumors of real spirits. But it's better to be safe than sorry. If it does end up true, then we need to act now, yeah? Okay, I'll do it. I hoped you'd say that. We better get right. No, I'm going alone. What? No way! That's not fair! I knew she'd complain. But I can't put her in harm's way. Listen, Mo, I need you to search for info. I've got no way to research his rumors, but you have access to a lot more than me. Use your position to gather information. Uh, I really hate sitting out and watching you do everything. But if that's how I can help best, then that's what I do. This time. If you find anything out, though, tell me, okay? I promise. It's settled. And Mishita takes out a notebook, rips out a page, and hands it to me. The address on the, of the hotel, Masquerade. It's abandoned now, though. Masquerade. Meet there at 8 tomorrow night. 8 p.m.? I have to go at a specific time? The client sent the time. The old lady said she'll call for help if it's... And so it's probably a scheduled thing. I don't have to handle this alone, then. Plus, this is Yasoka. I'm sure she has some kind of plan in mind. Well, then I need to get to my other cases. Mashita turns on his heels and vanishes out the front door. But he's just as suddenly back. What's wrong? Weren't you leaving? Nothing. Just realized it's a little late for kids to be wandering around outside. Mashita calls out to the other two. Hey, you two. I'll drive you back, so hurry up and get in the car. Oh, is that okay? Oh my god. Then I'll take you up on that. <laughs> I agree. It's pretty late. Sorry to trouble you. Well then, mister, we'll be going. <laughs> okay. So we have another case. The good end literally goes straight into the DLC. Well, we didn't know that. Nope. The rhythmic ticking of the grandfather clock echoes through the hall. How long has it been since those three went home? I sat and mull over- I sit and mull over what Mashita told me. I have a fa a bad feeling about this. It's perfectly reasonable to believe it's just rumors, a normal case even. But the more I think about it, the more I'm doubting it. I avert my eyes from the sofa. I silently ask its silent- its absent master a question, but of course there's no way she'd reply. The next evening. I would like a save point, please. You ain't getting one. <laughs> I get ready and leave my room with heavy steps. It looks like we're not recording seven. <laughs> I guess not. I just want to finish this out. The clock says it's six on the dot. It's still early for the meetup time. I guess unconsciously I'm a little impatient. I'm already ready. There's no reason to wait here at the mansion. Guess I'll go. I'll just kill time there if I'm ready. If I'm early, excuse me. I'll learn the truth. In and out, it'll be quick. I turn the car key, my mood improved somewhat. New info was added to the spirit fire. Rumors of Red Riding Hood other. Thank you for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got another chapter. We cool. do. We have another chapter. Oh, well, goodness. I guess that's what we're recording next since we're trying to finish this out. Yep. Unfortunately, we did not realize that the DLC was actually implemented at the end of the good end. Which is weird, because most of the base game cases came from Mary. Like, those I were all... I don't know. I, I wasn't expecting either. that. I was like, oh, it's the good end, so it's just like them meeting up well, and having a little chit-chat. No, like, like what, what I was thinking about was she's locked in the box with the statue. Yep. So there, she can't... There shouldn't be a way for her to somehow release her, like, yeah. part of her out there. Maybe it's just, like, um... A former? 
yeah, maybe it's just a former that wasn't dealt with within the time span that she was put back away. Possibly. So that might be it. I don't know. It's just weird. Anyway, we're going to take off and record some more of this. And we yep. should be done. Done with Death Mark. Hopefully. But all right. Well. See you guys in the next episode. Yep. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay toasty. See you later. Bye-bye.